Okay, so let's try signing in and then see if this works. So I'm just gonna put in my email. Hey guys, welcome back to another JamieBot video. In this one, we're gonna be setting up um, signing in with email for Ionic 4, and it's gonna be using this package called Firebase UI Angular, and it's not gonna take very long. It's super easy, so let's get into it. Oh, and first off, if you haven't seen my video on installing uh, Ionic and getting that set up, um, I just have a newly generated project. So if you don't have one of those and you don't know how to um, generate a project, then be sure to watch that video. I'll leave an annotation up there. But assuming you have a project to start working with, um, we're just going to get started here. Um, I'm just on the Firebase UI Angular guide. So I'm just going to copy this first command. Um, I don't really like running it with dash dash save. It makes it harder to uninstall. Um, so I just run it plain old like that. Okay, great, that's all done. So that was the package Firebase UI dash Angular. Um, now we're going to install um, all of its dependencies. Um, just run the second command. All right. Um, and while it's doing that, I'm going to go um, to the console. So I'm at Firebase console because we need uh, a new project. All right, I'm going to call this one Ionic Auth Example. Then accept the terms and just generate a project. If you already have a project, you don't need to do this. But I just need a project that I can work with for this example. All right, so it's all ready. Um, first thing is uh, I'm just going to click this web icon and grab this config. Um, we're going to be needing that inside of our project. I'm going to put it in an entry called Firebase um, inside of the environment.ts file. So it'll look like this. Okay, next I'm going to go over here to authentication and just click set up sign in method. You can use any of these. They all work with the Firebase UI plugin, but uh, I'm just going to use the email and password because I think it's the most common and the most um, straightforward. Oh, also something that didn't really get recorded, but I'll just tell you. Um, I clicked on database, and then I clicked on um, set up Firestore and then I put it in test mode. Um, so once you do that, um, then go over here into um, VS Code and then in the terminal type in Firebase init. And then it'll ask you to choose uh, what you want to use. I'm just going to use Firestore. Um, you can set up any of these other things. I'm going to have other videos on these things in the future. Um, but you just press enter and then choose the project which you'd like to link to. Uh, and then press enter again for Firestore rules, um, firestore.indices, and great. So now Firebase is linked to this project. Um, this project knows about that particular Firebase app. Okay, now I'm just going to go back to um, the guide here and then import everything as it says I should, like this. So go into the module file and then uh, somewhere in the top, import Firebase UI, Firebase and Firebase UI module. They have two more imports as well as a config. I'm going to copy those as well. Um, so just copy that. And I do need to edit this config object. This is where you configure like which sign-in provider you're going to be using for the front end. I'm only going to use the email sign-in method. Um, and then here's where you'd configure links to your terms of service and privacy policy. Uh, quickly, I will generate a terms of service file just to show you how I would do that. So Ionic G page and then uh, terms. Okay, so here's our terms page, freshly generated. And then um, in the TOS URL, I'm just going to put, um, let's see if it takes relative URLs. So I'm just going to put slash terms. Uh, and then inside of the routing module, looks like it's already configured terms to load um, the terms module, so that's cool. Um, let's see if that works. So I'm going to serve the app, ionic serve minus b minus c, and then heading back over to the browser, just refresh that, and then go to slash terms. So it looks like terms is working. This is the content of the terms page, which we just generated, but it's empty. But here you can just fill out um, whatever terms of service your website has. And then, of course, for the privacy policy, we just do the same exact thing. Um, so I'll quickly do that, slash privacy, 
and then uh, literally the same thing, just type in privacy instead. All right, and then down here, we also need to initialize Firebase like so. So we will just copy that and put it inside of um, the imports. Uh, I like these on new lines, so I'm just going to organize this a little bit. Okay, and then it looks like um, their variable was called Firebase config, but um, in the environment file, mine's just called Firebase. Um, and also I need to import environment. So I'll just auto import that. Um, and make sure it's coming from the right place. Um, it needs to come from environment slash environment. Because um, if you do a production build, meaning you run um, ionic build space dash dash prod, that will override the environment.ts file with the environment.prod.ts file. So you always just import like this from environment slash environment. Um, but right now, all we have filled out is just this file, not even the prod one. Um, since it's going to be exactly the same, I can just put that over here too as well. Um, but if you wanted to change these so you have different environments, then you could do that as well. All right, next thing is that in order to have the styling um, work properly, we need to import the Firebase UI.CSS. And we just do that inside of the global.scss file. So I'll just import Firebase UI just like that. Okay, then that's just more ways of doing the same thing. And then finally, to get it working, we just use the Firebase UI tag. Um, so here on the home page, um, I'm just going to put um, the Firebase login at the bottom of that home.html. Then I'm going to serve up the app once again. All right, I'm going to change the URL back to home just so that we load the right page. Okay, so it looks like we have a bug. Firebase UI is not an own element. Um, and that's just because uh, we need to make sure that the Firebase UI module is part of um, the home module itself instead of just the app module. So instead of home.module.ts, um, I'm just going to import Firebase UI module and then auto import that. And then let's see if it works now. OK, so there we go. We see it working. Um, we see the login. And right now in the console, it's it's kind of logging all of this stuff. Um, that's, that's because we're using this uh, account chooser um, credential helper. I'm just going to disable that because I think it's annoying. So I'm just going to choose none here instead. And then refreshing, we see that it's blank now, or more blank. Um, so that's a lot nicer, I think. And down here you can see that uh, terms of service that we configured um, and the privacy policy. These links both open um, those pages that we generated. So there's the terms and there's the privacy policy. And again, you just want to fill those out with um, your actual terms and privacy policy. Um, I usually find a template online and I just substitute my product name. Okay, so let's try signing in and then see if this works. So I'm just going to put in my email and my other info and then press enter. And then it logs me in. And since the UI went away, that means that it worked. Um, but just to show you, I'm going to go back inside of authentication, click on users, and then we can see there's my email right there. I'm a registered user. This is my user ID. Okay, now once the user is logged in, it's common to want to like do different things based on if they're logged in or not. So the way that I like to do that is inside of whatever um, module you want to do this on, I'm just going to do this in the home page. Um, just going to declare a constructor here and then inject the dependency um, af auth. And that stands for AngularFire auth. So I import AngularFire auth here, not the module, just AngularFire auth. And then if you make this variable public instead of private, um, you can actually access that variable inside of the HTML. And so that means that um, here I could put like an h1, uh, like welcome, and then maybe like the name of the user. So the way I do that is I do if auth dot auth dot current user. Um, so this current user object, that is null if they're logged out and it is um, the actual user object if they're logged in. So if I show the display name here, then it'll say welcome 
and then JamieBot. But this will throw an error if current user is null because it'll say can't read property display name of null. So in order to fix that, we just put an ng if here, ng if, and then we can copy that same current user. So we just check to see if the current user exists. And if they exist, um, then we can show that nice welcome message. Um, otherwise, we don't. So let's try that. All right, there we go. Welcome, Jamie Bot. Uh, I'm also going to put a sign out button just so that you can sign out and see that it doesn't show the message if you're not logged in. So I'm going to put an ion button. And I'm only going to show this button if you are logged in, um, as well as uh, when you click the button. It's going to call a method called sign out. And then instead of uh, home.page.ts, I'm going to make that method sign out. And it's going to call afauth.auth.sign out. And then once that's done, I like to actually reload the page because if there's anything on the page that's like using the authenticated user and then it disappears, I don't want there to be any errors. Um, for like more complex applications, I always do this. So I'll just put this in here just to show you. Um, Location.reload. And that's why I'm doing this instead of the TypeScript because it's a little bit more lengthy and I don't want to put it directly um, in the HTML. Okay, so let's check that out. Welcome Jamie Bot. I'm going to sign out. Sign out. It reloads the page. Shows the UI again. By the way, this UI auto hides itself. Um, when you're signed out. Okay, and then the welcome message is gone, and then um, I can sign in again. And then this time it's a lot more simple because it recognizes me as a user. So if I sign in once again, um, it says welcome Jamie Bot, and then the sign out button is back once again. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more videos I'm gonna do on Ionic and Firebase, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.